This is a bulk item silo room. I'm gonna show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Um, okay, so t today I'm gonna show you guys how to build this very cool looking uh, bulk item silo room. Now you can make this obviously as big as you want. You could hook up farms to it uh, and you have little indicators to tell you when you know when you're basically filling up or how much you have so if you want to start a project and you're like you know what i have a lot of uh i don't have a lot of cobblestone i think i need to mine a little bit first and then i can do it or whatever the case may be fill this up with whatever you want um but yeah let's just get into uh what you need and how to build it all right guys so everything here will also be in the description but i just wanted to point out this up here is per storage cell the rest of this is for the whole build uh, unless you're going to make it bigger than the one I have, obviously, then just add some more stuff here. But this right here is per storage cell. So you're going to need nine chests, six hoppers, things like that for each of the little individualized cells. Okay? So first what we're going to do is we're going to take our stone brick. We're going to come up six. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to skip three. One, two, three on that fourth one. Again, we're going to come up six and we're going to go across. Skip another three, come up six, and we're, go we're gonna go across. Now, I did, for the corners here, I did just connect them. I like the way it looks. You can spread it out and make it a little bigger, but you'd have to change the whole build. So, so we're just gonna keep in mind, we're just gonna keep the same configuration. We're just gonna skip three and go over, skip three and go over, and you kind of, uh, you kind of get the idea. And then on the end over here, we're just going to turn and we're going to do the same thing. And say one, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so this is how the outline starts off. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take my birch logs. I'm going to put them like this. And I just like to do this with it. You do not have to. Uh, it's just that you might be able to see through or you should be able to see through, and I hate seeing whatever the ground is underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna make this little eye shape for each of these little uh, in-between sections. All right, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a chest right here, okay, right in the middle of each of these, and just like that. We're gonna come behind it, and we're gonna go up five blocks with our wood, or birch in this case. Okay, do that for every single one. Okay, should look just like this. Then what you're going to go ahead and do is behind each of them, you're going to go ahead and put, uh, th sorry, three hoppers facing in. Okay, so do, do that for all. Okay, next up, you're going to take your lamps, three of them to be exact, and you're just going to put them here. Now, again, you can go higher with it if you'd like, but I, I feel like three is sufficient because you, uh, you also have storage with the hoppers in the back. So we'll go through all the storage once it's all built. But you have you have a lot of storage. Okay? And then what you're going to do is put chests. Whoops. What am I doing? Yeah, no, that's right. Put chests there. Okay? So just you're just going to put chests facing sideways right on top of all of the top lamps. Okay? And then you can come behind it and extend it out and make it a double chest okay once that's done you can come on top of it and you could just put uh some stairs you could do slabs if you want i don't know if it works in the java edition with the slabs but in uh, in bedrock the one i'm playing on right now there's you can't put the regular slabs like you used to if you put it directly on top you can't open it so if i put a, a slab like that i can't open a chest you can with the top one but not with the bottom one. So, yeah, I don't. I don't even use those anymore. I just use. I just use stairs. Okay. Cool. So now what we're going to do is on this side right here. Okay. So right where this one is, right here, and right next to this hopper, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a uh, smooth stone slab there. And we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, I'm sorry. We could do it for this way right here. One there and one there. So that way we can kind of share the redstone. And then we're going to do this in the middle. Okay. 
And for the next one, right next to where this one is right here, this line, we're going to go there. Okay. And then we're going to share this one as well, right here in the middle. Okay. And then for these, we're just going to go that way and that way. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our redstone now. And first we're going to put our comparators right on these three right here. Okay. The ones that are behind the birch. So right there, right there, right there. Next up, we're going to put redstone dust next to that. And then we're going to put, we're going to put our levers right there and make sure we turn it on. Okay. And then same thing for this one, which I forgot. Boom. Okay. Perfect. And the reason we have this is we want these chests to read, or not those chests, but the chests we're going to put down in a minute. We want those chests only to light up the lamp when it's full. Because you don't want to just have it when it, like one item in it, right? So if we, if we put a chest down, right, let's just put this here for a second. If we put a chest down and we put a stack of items in it, because this, because the comparator is reading full strength, right? This is a, um, this is a lever and it act, this is completely full strength right now, right? This piece of redstone. So it's going into the side, which means the back will only display once it's equal to or greater than this signal strength. And the only way it's ever going to be equal to full is if this entire chest is filled up. And if we, cause if we didn't have it, then boom, it would just show that there's something in there. And that would be, that'd be pointless because then you wouldn't really know how much you had, right? You would have no idea how much you actually had because you wouldn't know if there's one item or is there the entire chest. So that's why I do it this way. Okay. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is just extend this out. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We need to add one more hopper to each of these. There we go. Or I guess I did that right. I must've broken it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put a double chest there, break this one, put a double chest here, and then one more on top with a double chest right here as well. Okay. Just like that. So it should look just like this with all three of these, these chests right here, these, these three going over this hopper. Okay. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this chest and go that, or this hopper from this chest and go this way, this and go this way. And then from this main input chest, we're going to go this way. Okay. So now everything feeds into it. So let me also give you a little, uh, show you something else that you can do. You do not need this. If you're going to hook this up to a farm and let's say you want the farm to feed into it, you can just close this off. Okay. You can just close that off and, uh, and you'd be done because all you would need to do is feed the items into this hopper right here. So this is the feeder hopper. Okay. So all of them are going to be this feeder hopper. You can also leave this filled. You can also leave this um, here and then have a hopper going into the side and then this be your feeder hopper. That way you can do it manually as well. Um, but if you didn't want to have it manually, you could just do what I said, get rid of this chest and have this be the feeder hopper. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, with this side, only it's going to be going the opposite. All right. So it's going to be going in this way. It's going to be going in this way. And then it's going to be going ooh, this way. Okay. And now same thing. This one is already being pulled. We're going to pull it go this way, this way, and this way. Boom. Okay. Oh, did I, did I have that? I didn't mean to put that there. Yeah, I meant to put this one here. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so you got to just make sure they're all being fed in. So this bottom chest is, is going directly into that hopper. This chest is, is hoppering into this chest. And then this one is, so as long as you make sure all the connections are fine, you're good. And then if I were you, I would just add a light source uh, because obviously these are not going to be on right away. Just put like a, a torch or something behind there. That way until it fills up, nothing can, you know, spawn in there. Okay. And then when you're doing these back ones here, these two, 
do the same as as this so that way they connect and you share the redstone okay so these two like you're going to put the first one there and there it's going to be the same thing okay and then when you get to this side do it opposite go there there and there okay so this is how your this is how your uh your comparators are going to read okay and do the chests accordingly same way and then same thing on this side just mimic what we just did okay okay so now that that's done what you're going to go ahead and do is we're going to break the row in front of all of this okay we're just gonna... okay and now what we're going to do is in front of these right here uh that one's fine and actually we're going to mimic that on this side okay so we're just going to put these solid blocks right here and also one there okay now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our stairs just like so okay we're going to come all the way around with it boom 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 perfect and then for the ones with the solid blocks we're going to put stairs on top stairs there okay just like this uh, i thought it, i thought i thought it gave it a nice little design and then for this side it's just going to be there okay and then we're going to come in uh, like this and we're going to kind of do the same thing here so we're just going to put a block where those pillars are perfect and actually this can connect okay and go oh wait that one was yeah two of them right 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 yeah i did this one differently so what we're going to do now is we're going to come in like this, okay, and we're just going to put upside down stairs just like that, okay, same thing for this one, only what we're going to do is we're going to mimic where this is. So find this spot, it should be there and there, okay, and just go like that, perfect, okay. And then we're going to do boom, boom. Whoops. Now make sure they're upside down. Okay, so we're going to come right like that. Again, you got to make sure it's upside down. Just like this. And then for the floor, all you're going to go ahead and do is put down your birch or whatever you want. But I'm using birch. I happen to like the way it looks. All right, guys. So next up, what you want to do is you want to come in here and put these in the corner okay so whatever your light source is does not have to be this obviously sea lanterns are uh you know if you don't have them they're they're pretty rare some people don't even find you know sea temples or whatever okay and what you want to do is kind of make like a little number sign not really though like you want to do this this little crisscross and just leave that gap in the middle that i have Okay, that gap right there. And that is going to be for the slabs here, except you want to raise it up one. Okay, whoops, where is it? Where is it? There we go. And then just break that. Oh, I guess for some reason I thought that was going to work. You just want to get it one higher. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just get it one higher. If I can actually get it. There we go. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with our trap doors. Uh, I always like to cover up lights. I just, I don't know, I don't think they fit into the build sometimes. Sometimes they do. I just think that looks better. Okay, and then you would take your item frames of whatever the item is, and you could just put it above the chest on the ceiling, like that, right? So this would be, right here would be where your items go. And I don't know why I'm walking, I could fly. Okay, and boom, that way when you're down here, you look up and you can perfectly see what everything is. Right, anyway guys, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.